one-shotting while naked and mounted. Good. All right, all right, here we go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just the question mark, man. Wait, so he's using Shield of Vengeance? And Shield of Vengeance is expiring, and then he dies. Look at them, he- they- <laughs> They just fucking inspect them, they're like, what? And then immediately they fucking die. Oh my god. Look at- oh no. Oh no, come on. What the fuck, man? Look at them all. Good job killing that idiot on a mail muncher. Really, really. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. And this guy's a- he has a- He's got seven- dude, PvP scaling, by the way. Watch this. Look at his health. He's got 700,000 health. 500,000 damage. Oh my fuck, man. Look at this, dude. Uh-oh. It just blows up on him like it's nobody's business. Holy shit, man. He just explodes. This game's a joke? I, I don't even know what to say. The guy just gets immediately fucking destroyed. It it it's PvP scaling that's making this happen. I, I mean, like, obviously, like, the, the thing itself is, like, probably OP in, the, in itself. But, like, it's PV fucking PvP scaling. Oh, my fucking God. Here it comes. Yep, they're dead. Jesus, dude. This is so fucking ridiculous, man. Wow. Fucking wow. This guy's gonna net omatic Oh, dude. Nice try, bitch. Look at that guy. He's running, dude. He knows what's gonna happen. See, that guy's gear was so fucking bad that the PvP scaling actually made Rex Troy do less damage. Look at that. Holy shit. Wow. So he's using a goblin sapper charge to trigger the explosion. Is that right? I, I'm... I, I don't know how this exactly works. Oh my god. He's like literally a kamikaze. He just... Boom. And just blows up and kills everybody. Yeah, yeah extra fucking kamikaze. I, I don't even know what to say. Well, well, watch, I want to see this one again. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Just immediately blows the fuck... I I imagine just riding by. You're just like sitting there on your mount. And... Boop. And you're just dead. Literally one, one hit. One hit, you're fucking dead. Immediate one shots. Wow. This is so fucking stupid. Oh, he waved at him. That's nice. And look at the PvP scaling for this, too. Like, he's doing, like, he's got to be doing, like, 30% more damage. What? That guy has a million... That guy... Look at his health. Your shield of vengeance. What the fuck? He has 1.3 million health. And, and the shield of vengeance hits him for 3.8 plus 2.2 or 222k. Holy shit. So it did over double damage. Yeah, it, it actually did over double fucking damage. That's insane.
Wow. Ha 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 ha. Look, another, it's a monk. What's he gonna do? It, in one hit, it would have killed him, but like that shield, this shield uh, splits damage. Oh my god. What's he doing? Just immediately fucking deletes him. How can he read Horde? Uh, Elixir of Tongues. So the reason why he's only doing two people at a time is, yeah, the uh, the shield of the righteous, it, it spreads damage. So it either hits one guy for a million or two guys for 500k or four guys for 250k, basically. So that's why he's only going for a certain group of people. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. This combo was really great and hilarious. So let's go through the steps. The thing it is all built upon is Shield of Vengeance. Yeah. It's a Paladin Absorb Shield that will deal damage depending on the amount absorbed once it expires. Right. Makes sense. The shield is based on stamina and versatility. So what we are going to do is add a lot of versatility pieces, stamina trinkets such as Tenacity, Yes Howler, as well as stamina consumables. Wait a second. Weren't I supposed to be naked when I do this? Well, of course I will be. Our friend called PvP Scaling is going to boost his shield even more. Since if we use our Shield of Vengeance when we are geared, but remove our gear, the same strength on the Absorb Shield will remain. Whoa, wait, let me read that, let me listen to that again. Shield even more. Since if we use our Shield of Vengeance when we are geared, but remove our gear, the same strength on the Absorb Shield will remain. However, the damage it will do, once it blows, is increased by 238%. So instead because of, of the PvP scaling, it will do 1.1 million damage, split among nearby enemies. This is enough to one-shot two geared people, or three undergeared ones. So how do we deal damage to the shield itself to stack up? damage. For this part, we're going to be really precise, because we're going to use corruption to do it. Okay. We are going to have just the required amount of versatility and corruption level to make it so a complete eye of corruption spawn, we leave the shield with barely anything remaining, to load up as much damage as possible. In my case, I use 122 corruption. So we calculate To spawn eye of corruption, you can use any random world mob, target dummy, or gently squeeze toad if you're alliance. Oh my god. But there's one more thing you really want to do. Okay. An issue with this setup is that you have to wait the whole duration on Shield of Vengeance. You are unable to blow it up as you wish. Okay. Since you can't right click the buff to make it explode faster. Oh yeah, yeah. This can give the enemy time to react once they see you standing beside them with a massive glowing shield. Oh shit. Yeah, they got, so man, dude, they got away. I travel back to my old engineering recipes and okay. find the amazing item called Goblin Savage Charge. Wait, what? From like back As in the see, day? It does 70 damage to myself. If I was able to have the Shield of Vengeance remaining absorbed be less than that, I could blow it up whenever I wanted to. This was actually not an easy task. I had to find the exact point of versatility that will lead absorb with about 20 remaining for me. Holy shit! I used old school cooking recipes that granted me 2 versatility and stamina once eaten. If I had one that gave me 1 versatility, the shield would blow. If I had more than two verse on the food buff, the shield would have a few hundred left. The whole combo is oh making sure you have a corruption spawn, quickly use the shield of vengeance and both your unused trinket. Wait until the eye disappears, and then remove your gear. Then you fly near someone and use savage charge, or use to wait until the shield expires to blow them up. I, I feel like him doing the fucking sapper thing, that's flexing. Like, I mean, that that's, like, he doesn't even need to do that. Uh, he, yeah, he doesn't even need to do that. Like, it, it's like, yeah, oh, and by the way, you know, you can calculate it this way. It's, it's completely unnecessary to do that. But here we are. I, I, I don't even know what to say. It, it's, it's just so fucking ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more. I just... It's just so...
like I I don't even know what to say anymore. Like I I really don't know what to say. Can warriors do this? No, they can't. Of course they fucking can't do it, okay? No, this whole problem and everything around it has to do with PvP scaling, okay? This is Blizzard's solution to uh, the problem that they've created. And so they're like, all right, well, let's make the game worse because we don't know how to fix it. Uh, don't worry, PvP will be fixed in Shadowlands. Read the comments. Okay, I'll read the comments. Give me a second here. Next Rex Troy video, how to kill everyone in Orgrimmar using the mobile app. <laughs> the king does not dismount when looking upon small fries. Oh my fucking god, man. I really hate PvP scaling. It destroyed PvP for me. I think PvP scaling's dog shit, and there's no reason for it to be in the game. Uh, it's completely pointless, and it just sucks. Like, there's nothing else to say about that. Uh, this is fucking insane. Wow. I don't even know what to say about this. It's just so... It, it, it's so ridiculous. No, warriors can't do this. Asmon, don't even try. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. So, I, I'm just, I'm so, oh man. Like, the way I look at, like, Shadowlands at this point is, like, I just, I just want to play the game. I, I feel like WoW is at the point now where the more you think about the game, the less you're going to like it. So, it's like, the best way to enjoy WoW is you don't think about the game, you don't worry about the game, you just play it. And, and, and that's it. 